How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here and making your own Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance repros is a real thing now, and you can do this at home. Now, this comes from Retro Stage, and I want to thank Retro Stage for providing me a couple of these to play with. Now, these are not available as of filming this video. Um, however, they're looking for, like, late this year, early 2020 for a release, so everybody has their access on, on something like this, because this is very, very cool and very, very neat. A lot of reasons to make your own Game Boy games. I'm a huge Game Boy fan, as well as Game Boy Color, as well as Game Boy Advance. There's some great imports out there that you don't want to just import from Japan. There's a bunch of Game Boy games that are 100 200 up to $600 sometimes that you don't got to pay that money. You just want to play the game on physical hardware. There's a lot of physical hardware for Game Boy, too. So we're going to show you how to make some great games using these flashboards. Along with the flashboards, you'll need one of these. It is the Blaster, it is a programmer, it's also available from Retro Stage. If you're like, that's the same one as the Nintendo 64 one, well, it is. Uh, however, this thing can be removed. Carefully, carefully, nice and neatly. A little bit from the other side as well. Just, just take your time, a little bit of leverage. If you don't have something like this, man, even like a ballpoint pen. In fact, just to prove it, I will use a ballpoint pen. You just want that leverage to get this thing to come up, come off. This thing is a super tight fit and probably will not be able to get this removed just with your fingers. So that's the bare bones. And then here's the adapter. And you want to make sure that that matches up, kind of like how EEPROMs match up. See like that little thing on the side there? But the pins will be the same, just like that. There we go. Plug it in, use as normal. Let's do it. Now this program here, Retro Blaster 2.0.1, is available at RetroStage.net. You'll need it for the Retro Blaster programmer. And there's several different features of this, but right now we're going to use, well, it's already on Game Boy Advance, so let's go ahead and start writing a Game Boy Advance game. The first thing we need to do, though, take our Game Boy Advance flashboard here. Just plug it right in, right there. That's all it is. Simple enough, click on Write. Now, I only have a couple of games to choose from for the purpose of this video, but I wanted to showcase this too. Now, this Magical Vacation, one of the great games, it's an import, they have the English translation, Shigeru Miyamoto was a part of this game, and you're like, man, I'm getting this because I want this game on a physical cart because I want to play it with this thing, but it, select a game is an invalid side, it must be divisible by... 10, 24. So this game will not be able to write onto this. In fact, many of the hacks will not be able to work on something like this. There might be a solution in the future. There may be. In fact, there may be some kind of solution right now um, aside from these programs here. But uh, again, this is very early and we're still working things out here. So instead, you know, we can play a game like, you know, Ninja 5 -0. That's a That's a hard one to find nowadays. Great game here. Rev, uh, Elevator Action, old and new. Well, it has the old arcade game and it's also a new kind of cartoony sized uh, elevator action game. In fact, well, let's, let's go ahead and use that one for an example. So we're going to click on that, and this won't take very long at all. It's going to erase the cart first and foremost, and this will take uh, a little bit, not too long. All right, so that took less than a minute. Now it's going to write the cart, and you see that progress bar right there, and this shouldn't take too long either. All right, full process took about two and a half minutes. Not too long at all. Simple enough. Remove it from the dealio. We're going to pop it straight into this. Let's put it in the right way, though, so we don't look like an idiot on worldwide YouTube or anything like that. So far, so good. There you go. Play yourself some, uh, this is seriously, I'm, I'm such a huge fan of the classic elevator action game in the first place that when I heard about this game coming out, um, when it came out in Japan, it's a, it's a Japanese exclusive. Man, I was all about it. Celebrator action. What can I say? You done with elevator action already? No problem at all. Just pop this right on there. Make sure it's on the three volt, and we'll go ahead and put on a uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Is my 
favorite sound. Again, pull that out. Well, not not very off to a very good start right yet, but you know, it's another game you can play. Very cool. Uh, let's do a Game Boy game while we're at it. So for Game Boy, you have the flash card here, like this, and then for Game Boy, you want to put it to the 5 volt, like such. Go over here, click on Game Boy and Game Boy Color, both work the same, and we'll go ahead and, just like before, write the ROM. And Amazing Tater, that's a big one. That didn't take very long at all, did it? There you go. Man, I just saved you about $300, $400 harmers this game goes for. Let's pop another game on here while we're at it. Again, couldn't be more simple. Just like that. Once again, great sound. Pop it in, turn it on. <clears throat> and this was more for my own benefit, just to see if I could. And yeah, you can totally hack your uh, Game Boy games as well in the right amount of cartridges. Now, I haven't done anything outside of the title screen on this game, but uh, who knows? Maybe in the future you'll see some, uh, some rigged uh, Game Boy games. <laughs> you, you never know. So whether it be Game Boy, Game Boy Color, whether it be Game Boy Advance... So many great things that you can do with these things too. And if you're not down for like the transparent uh, green here, um, he also provided a couple of, you know, sample shells of, you can also just use what looks basic. You know, it doesn't say Game Boy, it just says game. But, you know, here's the basic, you know, gray and then also the, the darker uh, color for the Game Boy Advance if you want. I kind of like this, the transparent green. I want it to look as repro as possible. I don't want to look anything close to uh, the legitness. However... You can do a lot with uh, things like this with this programmer. Again, it's going to be available soon. If it's not available right now, just keep an eye out for that website. It's RetroStage.net, and I thank you for watching. And there's always more videos coming up, so make sure you tuned in and make sure you're subscribed and you can click the bell icon notification thing if you want to do all that. You don't have to, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much.